We're going back to work. One more time, I have to inform you. Every name that I will say, you have to know that it can take, it can go to both sides. It can be all the way to the positive side and it can be all the way to the negative side. The child, usually we're giving a name according and it will tell us the mission of his in this world. Through his name, it will be much easier time for him to understand why he came to this world for. Yes. And that's why yesterday we dealt with Amalek and all the examples that I brought last night, I think everybody should look into it. And for the future, and for the future, everybody, they, 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 they're going to bring more kids over here. Or you want to teach your kids now, they should not call crazy names, which have no meaning to it, and we don't know even what is the mission of the game. So now, I promise you that we're going to continue tonight with the man. I have to finish the, the youth, and then I'm going to go to the lady side. The first one on the list tonight is Yitzchak. I assume that that you have a child named Yitzhak. Yes. Yes. Ah. No Yitzhaks. Yes. I heard two yeses. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. The Yitzhak people. First of all, you have to know is Midata Din. He is a very he is a person. Uh, I don't know even how to say it in, in English. Maybe the Hebrew speaker will will help me. In, in Hebrew, we say Adam Takif. Takif means he is always on the attack. A tough cookie. That's what you say. In English, is a tough cookie. But he's very dedicated, straight, and trustworthy. Surprisingly, people love him. Surprisingly. He has the courage to give and to help other people. People are depend on him a lot. They're leaning on him. Even though he is a tough cookie, but he is very pleasant. You know, you, you see such a mixer, you know. He's very proud of what he's doing. He likes to be happy. He likes to, you know. But he has a problem. He doesn't believe everybody. He's very kind of suspicious, Kazi. He has very little friends. Maybe one or two. No more than that. Very much going after spiritualism. Modesty and humbleness, this is his ground. He is very tsanua. So now, let me tell you what a tough cookie means in this place. Meaning, if he decided that something, if the Allah says no, it can be very pleasant, can be very nice, but he'll tell you no in such a way that you know this no, it will be no. There is nothing to talk about. But he'll say it in a pleasant way. 
Like heart? No. No. So, so this is Yitzchak. Now, you, if you have Yitzchak at home, take the list and compare, and you see if that's what you see or not. Yes, Rabbi, 100%. Very good. And plus. <laughs> and plus. I agree. I agree. Okay, good. If you disagree, you can tell me. Uh, we can. It's, it's fine. <coughs> now, my Gabai in the shul, who, his name is Yekutiel, right? Yes. You could hear, I'm telling you, the description is exactly what it is. Rabbi, my son. Oh, very nice, very good. Very, so much, very much leaning toward spiritualism. Very humble. And he is giving you vibes of royalty. His face is, you can see, chesed on his face. Everybody loves him. He has chesed and rachamim. And he has a very good sense. And whatever he says makes a lot of sense. They met, it's exactly him. Anybody over here have Ishai? Ishai. Yes. Yes, Ishai. Ishaya. No, no, it's the yeah, yeah. Shaya is Yuchin Ain. Ishai is David oh. Ben Ishai. Okay, no Ishai, let's go. Israel. And Israel's over here? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Israel, yes. 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 Hashem, good. Israel. We all know what happened if they have Yud in the beginning. Yes? Yes. Yud. Name of Hashem. Name of Hashem, meaning, meaning what? Very, very connected he, he, to Hashem. He's close, he close to Hashem. He has Hashem. the potential to get close to Hashem. Okay. Also, Yud is the, the smallest letter in the alphabet. Whoever his name starts with the Yud, he has the tendency to be Tzanua and humble. Modest and humble. Amen, Rabbi. Good. This person likes Shleimut. He doesn't like half things. He wants completions, completions. He has he can go very high in Kedusha, in holiness. He reach one level, he wants to go to the other level. He will not stand in one place. Yashar, meaning straight. Neeman, trustworthy, you can trust this guy. But he will have many problems in his life. Many it's a lot, as we say, but it will be saved from all of them. He has Mesirut and Nefesh, meaning we're saying it extra, he can give extra from himself. He, he is happy with what he has. Not looking there, not looking here, whatever Hashem give him. 
but he have ambition. Of course, his ambitions will be in the spiritual. If we know how to to channel it to the right direction. Yesterday I told you, and I'll repeat it again. You remember when I told you about Moshe? What is the opposite of Moshe? Always. Ah? Salam. Hashem. Nim Hashem, Hashem. Nim Belam. What was the question? The opposite of Moshe. The negative. Empty. 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 Right. Empty. 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 Shama means like a desert. Desert, nothing is in the desert. So your son, if his name is Moshe, he can be Moshe, or he can be desert. Okay. Anybody have the name Issachar? Yes, Rabbi. Yes, Issachar. Very good. Issachar, this guy, he has willpower and is determined. He is Lamdan, he knows how to learn. Veyadan, meaning he has knowledge in many, many aspects in life. If it's chemistry, physically, medically, whatever you talk to him, he has knowledge. But he's a moody person. Isaka is moody. He is a person with authority. He loves people. Bar misirut nefesh, meaning he can, he can give you extra for himself. And he, we call him give ish al chesed. He is a person of chesed. With his moods, Sometimes you have a child that you don't know what to do with them. He's such a moody child. What are you going to do with him? Usually when a person is not able to achieve what he wants to achieve, he gets, you know, in a frustration mood. Your child is the same thing, and your wife also is the same thing. If she don't get what she needs, she feel, I not, I'm not myself, not myself. I cannot. So she's in a bad mood. She's in a bad mood. But this bad, bad mood, she can feed the kids. She can put them to sleep. She can shower them. With the bad mood, she can do chesed also. It's not contradictory. It's not contradiction. When you're doing chesed, you're doing it in any situation. Okay, so I hope and I pray very hard that the message that I'm trying to give over here every night will reach somewhere. And we have to be very, very alert 
turn the world the way it was supposed to be. Now you look at your kids, what name you gave them. If the name is okay, you have to know the character. You combine the day that they were born. The day, the star, and the name, you combine them all. And, and the month? The month, of course. Good. Everything, you put it in the mixer. And let's see what cocktail you're going to come up with. Uh, Rob, do you also have to consider the parents' names, their characteristics with the child? No. No? They have a job to do. I thought that Rob said that Am Yisrael is above the stars. So if you have that belief and you're doing Torah Mitzvot, so do you still have to take that into consideration? All of that? Israel is above the Mazal. The question is good. Israel is above the mazal when it comes to, to parnasa, when it comes to sicknesses, and we come to all kinds of the problems that this world have to offer, we can jump over it. But a character, you cannot jump. A character, you have to build. Hashem will give you something that it's rough, is there, and you have to to polish it with the right to be a right role model for the child. Send them to the right places to learn. When they're gonna teach him how to be a mensch, I mean whatever he has inside, they're gonna. They know with a sandpaper how to send them out. And it will be a person. Which is a job. I don't tell you it is not. It's a big job. But very challenging job. Now we're going to ladies. Wait, Rabbi, Rabbi, sorry. Yekutiel, one more. Yeah. I said already. Rabbi, what Yekutiel. about Yonatan? Ah? Can Yon you do Yonatan, please? I did. No, Yekutiel, you did? Yes. By Yonatan, you did How come I did? We did Yonatan yesterday. Yonatan we did yesterday. Yekutiel oh. was the, okay, thank the you. first name we did. Rabbi, can we do Yeshaya? I'll get to it, Sablanu. Rabbi, Yonatan and uh, Natan is the same? No. No. Rabbi, Rabbi, do you have Yona on the list? I have Yona as a girl. Rabbi, what about Yonatan? Can you explain uh, that? Why? <laughs> what about Yona for the boy? Okay. Yona for <laughs> the boys? I don't have it on my list. Is Yana the same as Yona? What? Is Yana the same as Yona? Rabbi, are you doing Yeshaya? Not yet. It, it, it's your chin. I'll, I'll get to it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeshaya. For some reason, I don't have it. Interesting. Okay, I have to see why it's not on the list. Maybe along the way we'll see it. Somebody here by the name Yehudit? Yes, Yehudit. Yes. Ah? Yes. Yehudit. Good morning, good morning, everybody. <laughs> Rabbi, you put us in pressure with all the definition of names. 
Baba, is your hooded the same oh, as your habit? No. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Are you going to do your habit? Yeah. Okay. She's next. Okay, thank you. Yehudi, she has the ability, whatever she have inside, she can bring it outside to be reality. Some people they have things inside, but they don't know how to bring it out. So they're living all the time in a dream world. Express her feelings. Yehudi, if she's thinking about something to do it, She'll do it. No hesitation. Because she is working with her brain. Everything she is weighing out, yes to do, not to do, but when she deciding, bingo. She has a sechel, a brain, straightforward, not yashar. But she has also humbleness and simpleness. She's very simple one. She, for her, big homes, big cars, is not, not talking to her. She is very polite and she knows how to fit herself in every place that she is going. Meaning she's very wise. Usually when a person using his brain and he put the heart to sleep, Usually they doing things which are, you know, make sense. When the heart get into action, so we're doing things out of emotion and then sometimes it doesn't make any sense. So Yudit is a very good name. You have it. The mother of Moshe Rabbeinu, you have it. She has the Midad, she has the character of Chesed and Rachamim. She is Midad Chesed. She likes to help everybody. Toward the outside, she looks like her tough, but inside she's very soft and very merciful. There are people like that, that from the outside you look at them and say, wow, they, 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 they look like but inside, woo, they're very, because she is not a warrior at all. She said, let's worry what we, let's live today. Tomorrow, we live tomorrow. Why should I worry now about a day that I don't know if I have it or not? Meaning she has, you know, some people, they have what if, what if. This what if, miskenim, they have no life. What if something like this? And what if? And what if? All the time, this is like a mixer. And then this way. How can you live like this? What all I mean? How can you live?
בגמר הספיס. אל תצר צרת מחר. מינינג דונט פיל סורי פור דה פרבלם זה קאם טו מור. וואי. שמא לא תחיה, מבי חס ושלום you not gonna ונמצאת מצטער על עולם שלא שלך. And now you find pain all day because of a world that you're not gonna be there בכלל. Did you see once people coming out of a movie? In this key movie, in this key. Or Turkish one. Ah, Raj Kapoor. Yes, they always pull on the hard strings. Yeah. Ichikidana, Pichikidana. Right? Dana Uperdana, Ichikidana. Rabbi, how do you know? <laughs> how do I, I know? Rabbi, you. Watches, he watches all these down. Indian movies. <laughs> Rabbi, you know how they say in Bukhara? Yo Ishaq Memura, Yo Afandi Memura. So now, they're coming out, crying their heart out, and they're crying on something they're not existing with them. Why are you crying with them? These are for the warriors. What if? Why are you saying what if? So, your heaven is not a why... Uh, what if? She lives the moment. No, no. Some people, when they have guests for Shabbat, already from Sunday, she put a sign, be aware of a dog, She ready to jump on everybody, not only to bark, to bite also. But they come in, Shabbat, why are you starting to worry now? And some people, Friday they starting the auto to ask the husband, How many people come in Shabbat? We'll manage. Whatever I cook, whatever I, I can do, I'll do. If not, not, okay. We're not going to do it, right? Why? What are they going to say about us? Ah, what are they going to say? They didn't respect us, because they, they brought us, you know, a gefilte fish. And, and a piece of, piece of a chicken, and that's it. Sometimes we're cooking so much just to see so, so much food. You already don't want to eat. And meantime, the husband and the kids, they pay the whole price the whole week. Then when they leaving Mozae Shabbat, if they leaving, if they leaving, nobody can talk to you for two days. You have to recover from the tsunami. If you want your daughter to be calm together, call her you have it. Very good. Even though she loves company and noise, look what she's saying. She loves company and she loves noise. So she should be very tense, no? 
Why? Because she is very much leaning towards spiritualism. When you're spiritual, nothing will... Okay, okay. When you gush me, when you material, oh, oh. But she have one, one thing. She is very quick to get angry. Where this is coming from, I, I don't know. But she come down first also. Rabbi, how can a person be calm and get quick fast? Angry. You, 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 you see? Sometimes you can have two contradicting characters in one person. At least you know what you're dealing with. At least you know I have a job to do over here. What are we going to do with this child? Uh -huh. With such a contrast. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You can trust this child. Let, let's say if you have a daughter, her name is Yochevet. If she's 11, 12 years old, you told her, you know, mommy going there, you take care of the brothers and this. You can go. You can go. She's fine. She knows exactly what to do. You can trust her. Yona, over here is the name of a girl. So I think that the boys also have to hear it if the name is Yona. As I said yesterday, it's a name that goes both ways. Who, who uses Yona for girls? Ah? Who uses Yona for girls? Many people. Israeli people. I hear it in Taimanim. A lot of Taimanim use this name. Nahon. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Moroccans, the, I think. The Turkish people, the Greek, yeah, yeah. The, the Spain, the people who came out of Spain, they call her Palomba. Palomba in Spanish is Yona. And we have a book, Rabenu Yona Migirundi. He was a man. So they see in Spain, they, they, they used it for both. Yona, she's very clever. Everything has to go through here and has to make sense. The brain, Yashar, first. But she is sensitive and very fast to get hurt. The husband uh, should be very careful. But she's very close to Hashem. Why? No? Why she's very close to Hashem? Because her name has a Yud in it. The bird. The name starts with Yud. Uh, uh, Rabbi? Rabbi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Um, uh, in in English, uh, you could be Y, a Y, Yona. Yeah. Ah, you Y. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. Okay. Now, she have self confidence, and from Shamayim they guarding wherever she goes. 
A very good name. I'll tell you this much. Rev, did you mention that she calms down quickly as well? What, what? Sorry, she gets upset. She's very sensitive. But does she calm down right away or it takes her a long time? He doesn't say. Okay. Thank you. He says, Regisha upkia, meaning she is sensitive and she gets hurt. Now, if she is close to, to Hashem, so she knows how to forgive and how to forget. Rabbi, do you have Yafa? Soon enough, yes. It's coming, it's coming. Sablano, okay. Sablano. Thank you, thank you. Please, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Rabbi. Yeah. Uh, yes. What about Yona Kubiyana? No. No. That's something else. You can change it from Yana to Yona, yes. Oh. Yael, anybody here? Yes, yes. Yael. I have Yael. Very special name. Right? What about Yael Shira? Let's start with Yael. <laughs> <laughs> it's my mother's name and my daughter's name. Daughter. So I, I have two of them. Now, Yud, we know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Close to Hashem. And also, it's, it's, it's Niut, they modest and quiet. They don't make noises. And a very good heart, very soft heart. She likes to do tzedakah and chesed. Very friendly. She leaning toward a low self-confidence. But in the society, among your friends or the, the community, everybody will, will love her. Wherever she touches, Success. Amitit, meaning she's looking for a mat by her. There is no this way, that way. Only a mat. And she loves justice. Exactly. It's so true, my gosh. I see my daughter in it. Wow. <laughs> It's exactly how much kacha. Let's go. Exactly, to except for the quiet. I think they're not all quiet. Ah, uh, excuse me. What was the name? Yael. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Can you repeat Yael? Yael? I'm sorry. My daughter is Yael also. Very I good. just missed it. The Yaelim are. Yeah, so how could they be no. quiet, Kodarav? They're very strong. I think they're not quite the opposite of quiet. Of course, the quiet people are the strong one. In Hebrew, we say, Kelev noveach lo noshech. When the dog is barking, it will not bite you. The quiet one will bite you. Those who are making a noise, The quiet ones, they are the, they know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Quadrap, Yael Shira. I'll get to Shira later on, Habibi. No. It's Shin. Now no, we but are it's, no, but it's ah. together. It's together. It's not together. It's two names. No, but I'm saying it's okay. It's two names. <laughs> Yael is one name. Okay, I gave my daughter Yael Hana. So Hana made made it different, the temperament? Yes. A change. Then we have, a, then we have a, a mixture and then we have to know how to deal with. Okay. 
not always when you give two names, it's, and it's good. Yeah, you have to know also which two names to give in order for this one to help that one. Rabbi, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Rabbi, I have a Yisrael mayor. Is that a good combination? Israel, Israel Meir was Chafetz Chaim. Yes, that's why we named him. No, no. So. You can go to, to, to the bank. It's fine. <laughs> now let's, about... go, let's go to Yaffa. Let's go to Yaffa. Yaffa. And, and anybody here? Yes, yes. We have yes. Yaffa. Yes. Yaffa. Yes. Yaffa. 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 Toti Yaffa. <laughs> okay. She is stubborn. Hmm. She used this one, and the brain is very straight. No compromises by her. Your poor husband, no compromising. Very much a critic. She, everything that don't look right to her, right away she's going to criticize it. But any job that you give her, you can trust her, it will be done 100%. She, a decision maker, mm -hmm. and if there is argument, she is coming to say who is right, who is wrong. Referee. Referee. She has messy road nefesh. She'll do something until the neshama will come out. She's very dedicated to the family, very dedicated. She is helping the weak ones and to the needy ones. And she always likes to grow to completion. That's if you have a daughter named Yafa, that's who she is. This is exactly my sister. My sister called her name is Yafa. Everything over here is exactly what she is. I agree. Yeah. Yafa. Rabbi, I'm sorry, can you explain what you said the last part? Grows her she grows until completion. Can you say that again? Yeah. She likes to grow Initial. to complete, you know, she feels always that whatever I achieve, it's not complete yet. I need more than that. Harav, excuse me. What about a name like Yenta? Yenta. Yenta, <laughs> Yenta is Yiddish. I know, but my, that my mother, she didn't have a Hebrew name. I don't want to tell you what it means. I know, I know what it means. <laughs> I my mother, not what I want to say. <laughs> my, mo my mother's not a Yenta. She speaks no lotion horror ever. <laughs> Yenta, she's annoying everybody. <laughs> That's it. No, she's funny. She's great. She talks a lot, but she's funny. She likes to yap, yap all the time. That's Yenta. I hope she is not like that, right? She don't have a Jewish name? She didn't have a Hebrew name. A lot of them didn't have Hebrew names. I don't yeah, know. I know. In, in Europe, yes. The women more than the men. Yeah. Men had the Hebrew names and not the girls. Very interesting. Oh this is very interesting. Why they did it, I don't know. Rabbi, what about you have it? Ibi? I said already. I did you have it? Sorry, I wasn't. Too much coffee. Yeah, Benik, I'm gonna send you the description. That Benik. 
Ben Zion. Can you talk, can you talk about his trial a little bit Not more? Not Benny, Ben Zion. Okay, we're going to calf. So we're going with the lady with calf. Kohava. Rabbi, can we do Yamima before you start, please? I'm Yamima. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Yamima. A stubborn lady, no compromiser, but she is very much polite. And she feels sorry for people who need help and she's ready to help them. Very connected to the family and she is happy with what she has. What a salad. Good for the parents, they have a job to do. Okay, we're going to Kohava, the calf, yeah? Anybody here with this name? Ken, for the Rav. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I have to be careful now. <laughs> okay. Kohava is a star, right? It's a name of a star. Ba'alat Simchat Chaim, she has, she loves, she is happy in her life. But she likes competition. She has self-confidence. She is not uh, getting excited from everything. Something has to be very, very good in order to get her excited. She knows how to keep secrets. Very quick, she can connect to people. Very much balanced. And she weighs everything with her mind. And she loves to give a lot from herself, even more than she can. That's Kohava. Okay? Ma, ma lo, ma lo beseder. A kol beseder? Ma ni amad is a mashu? No, if there's something, tell me. It's what there is. רבי, אנחנו בלחץ כבר, רבי. לא נלחץ, לא נלחץ. רבי just became biased because someone said, hey, here I am. לא, לא, it's okay. It's written, I can send you a copy of it. רבי, I'm kidding. I know, I know. אוקיי. זיכרון לברכה, my grandmother was כוכבה. And amazing. אה, very good. anybody here with the name כנרת? No Israelis, good. <laughs> Little singer. How about Carmela? No Carmela. Can, can Carmela. <laughs> ah, Carmela, I call. Okay. Carmela. She is really Baalat Chesed. Very sensitive to other people. She is very authority, she represents authority. She has a lot of koach inside to exercise whatever she has inside to bring it outside. Whatever she does, she is very much balanced and very steady. And she has the tendency to go after spiritualism. Now, if this is not going to happen, this, this name 
will will suffer. Why? Because when you're leaning with your name leaned toward spirituality and you're not there, it will take you to the other side which you which is not you, and you're gonna get lost. So if your name calling your neshama is calling for spirituality. So you have to know that this is your mission in this world, to be spiritual as much as you can and even more than you can. The more you get to the spiritual side, to the spiritual side, the more calm you'll become. If you said, if you feel that you're not the Meaning this is indication that you're not in the right highway. You have to make a shift. Because the name is very good. The characters are very good. So we have to exercise it to the maximum potential. Okay. Rabbi, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I come from a Spanish country. Sounds like Spanish name. Carmela. Yeah. Carmela, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Rabbi. So Spanish, the, Spanish, yes. So the Rabbi, this person suffers because what? Why is Carmela suffers? When, when you're not fulfilling your potential, automatically you feel empty and sad. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Rabbi, I'm sorry. Um, is it possible you also tell us about Avigail? Oh, wow. This you have to go to the tapes. How many big? Leia. We're talking Wait. about. Yes. You, you missed me. What Leia? Huh? Ah, I have Leia. You. We have no Ktsia? Rabbi, we need a Kohen. Ktsia is Kuf. Uh, what are you up to? Kuf, no? Lamed. Oh, Lamed, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, no, Kaf, Kaf, Carmela, sorry. Carmela, Carmela with Kaf. Carmela is cool. Kaf. 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 Leia, Leia. Okay, let's I go to Leia. Leia. I go have Leia. Leia. Yes. Leia. Yes, Leia. Leia. It's me, Rabbi, we have. You have Leia? I have the same Leia, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When the name start with Lamet, you have to understand. It's come to tell us that this lady is wise and she using the brain. Why? Lamet is the, as we say, is the tallest letter in the alphabet. So this is the tallest place by in the person is his brain. So since the name starting with Lamed, so she started from here. She don't start here. Here it starts. And she is very much, she has Chochmat Chaim. Chochmat. Many people know books, but they don't know how to be wise with the books. Uh, in, in English, they saying book smart or street smarts. She can combine them both and she can be a book smart and a street smart. She'll give you very good advices. Because she has sense, she's very realistic. And surprisingly enough, she'll get, she'll accept any criticism and she'll fix and she'll work on it. 
She does chesed with, the, with people. Very responsible person. And very much care. She cares. Rabbi, I also have a question. Is it possible to ask a question? But, but, but. She has one problem in this name. Leah has a meaning Belashona Kodesh Leut. Leut is his meaning Ayefut. Ayef meaning tired. tired. She will always feel tired. So she always have to do exercising and to rest and this and that in order to have that strength because all her koach is in the brain. The body is a little bit, you know, but by the way, as a side point, A lady that having a, a, a difficulty to, to conceive, we, we're telling her, add yourself a name, Leah. Why Leah? Leah, she is the first in the Torah that we see oh, right. that she gave birth with no problems. One after another. Chick Chuck. Not Sarah, not Rivka, not, Ra not Rachel. They had a tough time. Mm -hmm. She was the only one that had an easy time. So we said, okay, this is a code number that if you want, we have to call you Leah. Sorry, Rabbi. I, I waited until you finish all, but, but I can't. I did not hear the rest of you, Hebert. You said she likes company, and after that, I did not hear. She likes company. What did you say after that? She is very much leaning to spiritualism. She getting angry very fast, and she comes down very fast. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Rabbi, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Um, I have a friend. Her name is Bela Leah. Uh, she's very much like you described Leah. But with Bela together, I don't know. I think it's spelled B. B A. Bela is a name in Yiddish. Ah, right. Okay. Yes, it's in Yiddish. And it means like Bella, like beautiful? Right. Like Yafa, Yafa. Yaf ah, right, right. Yafa Leia. Right. Rabbi, can you take it, talk about the name Livnat? Yes, huh? that's the next on my list, actually. Thank you. Oh. Livnat, it's a very, very, it's a, not a common name. Uh, it's a new name that came into the market. Are, are we done with Leah? Yeah. Yeah. Livnat. It's a lady that very much awake. Not like Leah. She is energy. She, she used the brain. But she he likes quiet and peace. Now, she have, she is, she is not restful. She is always, you know, Doing. She did action. But she loves neatness. 
she can understand every 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 everybody because she she knows how to listen when she is working for someone she is so dedicated so good she will not take from the boss even a minute she is sensitive and she can get hurt very fast and she like to do chesed what well, a mixture this name is it is the parents have to work thank you Ari anybody here by the name Leora I was really thinking yes, of this yes, name for, yes. my, for my daughter. But I Leora. have Leora. You have Leora. Also, it's a new name that came to the market. What does it mean, Leora? Lie to me. She was born on Hanukkah, so Leora, I have liked. Why didn't you call her Judith? I like Leora. <laughs> you like Leora. Leora, it's also happiness, no, Rabbi? No. Ora, maza ora besimcha. Ora is light. Yeah, but when you have light, it's happiness also. When you're fighting with your husband, don't you have any light in the room? <laughs> Fuck. It's different light, Rabbi. <laughs> Rabbi, it's different light. Don't confuse us. Is this the same as Lior for boys? What? Is this the same as Lior for boys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Lior. It's a new name, not recommended, but she is a woman, Haruza. I don't even know how to say it in English. You know, she's not lazy, dedicated, but she's very curious. You have to know everything. She loves peace, chasing after peace. If she'll be a leader, she'll be very successful. Very patientful. She loves neatness and cleanness. If she, she is putting a goal for herself and she's going to achieve it. That's Leora. Okay. So why this name is not recommended? Yeah, yeah it has good mm -hmm. characteristics. So why Very good why? characteristics. We don't know. Um, it's probably... Maybe it's not good for the husband. <laughs> Excuse me? The name has to be connected to the Neshama. It may have a good character, but not, not connected. Excuse me, Rabbi. Yeah. Um, you're talking about Lamed. Um, for example, I'm Ruti Levi. So does that have any influence on my name? No, no. no. That's just the family. Okay. Anybody else with Lamet? Yes, Leila. Leila is not a good name, but me none. La is Lana a Yiddish name? Lana is the same as Leia. Lana is in Yiddish. Is it for Leia, maybe? Could be. Thank you. Lana. I know Lana, the cheese for the Lana. Name? I made it Lana. So Svetlana and Lana, it's from a Russian name. 
Rabbi, you said Layla is a not good name? Yeah. Layla is, a, is not Hebrew at all. Yeah. What, what? Layla is not a Hebrew name. That is not a good name. You said Ashkenazi Layla? Name, huh? It's is it like Lily? Persian like Lily? use it. I don't want to tell you what it means. Let's not I know. talk about it, especially not at night time. Not, not good. This name has to be erased from the book. Uh, but it's not a Hebrew name at all. Which name was that? Layla. Even if it has a second name, Rivka? Rivka, use only Rivka. Only Rivka. Rivka is a good name, Rivka. Rabbi, can I ask you what's uh, Lana's uh, Hebrew name? Lana. What? Lana in Hebrew. There is no such a name. I mean, Svetlana, Lana. It's Russian. My friend Svetlana is Tzvia in Hebrew. Sivia, Sivia. Sivia. That's Sivia? what we call, yes. Sivia, okay, Sivia. thank you. Lana should be born, probably. Bye-bye. <laughs> The Israelis, the Israelis have weird names. It's a Lita, Lilach. Cohen, Cohen. I think you missed Cohen for the Cohen? boy. Yes. Cohen. Okay. Rabbi, can you see Lital? Metal? We, we're not there yet. I'm in Lamed. Hello. No, I think she said Lethal. 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 No, no. I no. L, L, Lethal. Lethal? Yes. Ken. What does it mean? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I know that it's a name. I, I know. It's a Hebrew name. I know. <laughs> you talking My to me? Something you about do. Rabbi, do on the lips. Little. Little. I have do. Make sense to you? Most people call it metal. Metal. Not little. We'll get to it. Little doesn't make any sense, not whatsoever. Welcome to Israel. All the names that they have. Insane. My cousin's kids, I, I can't even remember because they're so not common. Yeah. They're ridiculous. Rabbi, um, how would you translate Eleanor to a Jewish name? E Eleanor? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You... Rabbi, what about Cohen? Did we miss for the boys the Cohen? The cough letter? The what kind of name? Cohen. What kind of, what kind of name? name is this? It, uh, Cohen is for men. For male. I know that, you know. Say Levi Cohen? It's the last name, no? And it's the last name. No, it's used as a first name. My husband Some people have it as first name. Cohen? Yes, yes, first name. Probably they thought they are in the shul, so, so, so they call them coin. Rabbi, I'm sorry, would Eleanor be Leora or Elora? What would Eleanor be? You text me where, when she was born, what month it was, and okay. I will tell you what to do with that. Okay, thank you. How about Levi? Did you do Levi, Rabbi? Levi, right now. Which, yeah, we didn't do many yet. Rabbi, okay. is, Lida, is Lida considered a Jewish name? The what? Lida, Lida. My mother's name is Lida, but her parents passed away when she was very young, so she said she never was able to find out her Hebrew name. It's Leah. It's Leah? 
So she, does she need to change it now, uh, like with the Torah? No, she, she just, people have to call her Leah. So if someone's davening and saying to Helen, let's say, so is it Leah, like Leah Bas, whatever? She said that she remembers when she was very little, her mother used to call her Livka. Livka. Livka, yeah. But I said, I think it was Rivka. She said, no, I remember Livko, she used to say. The Bulgarian, they have a problem with this name. They call it Luka. But it's, it's wrong. The, the name is Rivka. Rivka. Okay. That's a nice name. Very Thank good. You. Let's go to Levi and we call it a night and I will see you tomorrow. Levi. Levi, it's a name. I thought it's a last name, Rabbi. Levi. No, no, no. One of the Shvatim. No, we have Levi. Okay. Moshe okay. Levi. Levi we have. All right. Okay. Some people use it as a first name. Levi. This person is belong to the world of Machshava, meaning is like a, a, the 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 philosoph. He, he likes to think, and he likes spiritualism, and he and he will be very good professor or teacher. He'll be a very good guidance. Very good sense of humor. And he fight for the truth and the justice. And he has chesed. Okay, we're gonna call it a night over here. Thank you very Digest much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much, Rabbi. Tomorrow we're gonna start with with Mem. Okay. Thank and we'll see where we 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 gonna end. Rabbi, you. one question. Yeah. With, good night. with, with Thank Maza. Good night. So, Thank you, Rabbi. Have a good night. Thank you. Rabbi, is it the one? One question I had. Is it combination of the letters that bring the meaning of the letter or is it just the beginning of the... Uh, I mean, let's say is, it does it go by a numerology, numerical value of the whole name or combination of the letters? How does it go? Usually we, get, we take the, the first one. I see. Usually, not always. Oh. Okay, my parents gave me a name, Zavia Miriam, but they call me a Miriam all the time. So um, that's the wrong way to use the second name? They should call you two names, Zavia Miriam. Oh. Okay, so tomorrow you're talking about Miriam. The first, what time are you starting? Every night at 9 o'clock. Okay, thank you. What if you have a middle name and they call you by your first name? Is that okay? What's the middle name? Nechadam or Tova, however. They should call you two names now. Mm, Even if it's my middle? Okay, thank you, Rabbi. Rohana, I'm so sorry about that. I know you're starting Mem tomorrow, but I just wanted to find out. Do you have Mordechai on your list? Most probably, yes. Okay. Rabbi, do you thank have you. Elisheva on your list? Elisheva? No, yeah. I have to... Look. I have to look for it. We'll talk tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. Thank you.